Oh, this is just a little uh, little video I'm gonna record here uh, to supplement this news about Mr. Johannesson from Iceland. Uh, this is just this is just a little news I'm gonna compliment, and it's something I have already explained. Uh, before the accident, before the incident, the accident, whichever way you want to call, whichever way you want to call this stuff, but uh, I got a cut about uh, one centimeter and a half deep at the dam not too far from here, at the Kirka uh, River. And so I have spoken to this guy, uh, identify one because everybody along the river was involved in MKUltra, everybody. MKUltra went on big time on the river and know that anytime you have, you have served me, see me, I was, in case I was not by myself, this always was the case of MKUltra. I only have had one year a fishing license I have used. Uh, I actually purchased two years. Let me explain something. The fishing license here for two years is about 500 euros. And the second year I didn't even use one because the psychiatrists would go after me. You know? It's already like eight a day. Uh, and wound is very, very persistent. This is a very, very bad wound I got. And what 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 uh, what hurts me the most is that it was a German that positioned himself like a wall between myself and between the Slovenian police, between Slovenian government. It was the police investigators, literally, uh, who inspected the dam. The guy I met <clears throat> two months ago at the police station, police investigator, in fact, was the one who was in charge to go and inspect uh, whatever was left from the old dam, because this dam was rebuilt, and they have deliberately not, 12 years ago or something like that, more, uh, they deliberately have not repaired a certain portion of the dam so that it would remain deadly uh, in case you would step on the... Uh, I hope not rusty parts, whatever it is, um, but it was this investigator that assured me during MKUltra I didn't know nothing about this stuff in real time till I actually went ahead to pick up the a piece of wood that stuck appeared like it stuck on the dam uh, disregarding the events from the past how deadly trapped they set in there and so they said that right on the portion of the dam that uh, if you would continue to go down this waterway where it was pushing the water more you would definitely step right on the uh, basically where the current was stronger a little bit stronger you definitely which makes sense right if you have a, um, mm -hmm. a big piece of wood that you need to push down the dam so that you can throw one inside of the boat and take with you it makes totally sense that you would look for where current is even if a little bit slightly stronger so they would pull one down the river because I parked the boat under this dam and so on my way back I have identified another guy I'm gonna have more videos coming anyways and so I told him in Slovenian language exactly what I'm gonna tell you right now you know but I mentioned Mr. Johansson earlier from Iceland. I have also written on my post today that I don't even want to know who who was or who he is or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Um, 
I don't want to meet one. I got probably five ambulance sirens today ringing on my ear. Um, and um, but the, the reason why um, it's not only that I told them that this is what's going to happen. Uh, politicians, foreign politicians, that that's exactly what my procedure is going to be in case they're going to do something like this. Uh, meet with Borut Pahor, now President of Slovenia, two terms President of Slovenia. This was the Udba guy, and you don't even understand what exactly Udba is. Udba is, for your information, not equivalent like Janis Janša urged me. Well, you know, in the U.S. they have a CIA, in Russia they have KGB, um, in Britain they have MI5 and so on and so forth. So we had Udba. No, this is not exactly the truth. Uh, let me explain what Udba is, okay, because people don't understand. Udba is not like, uh, Udba, Udba is not even like a Stasi. Okay, Udba was a remnant of so-called Yugoslav secret undercover police. But what exactly that meant? What that meant was that in year 1980, Serbs started to ethnically cleanse, murder, uh, kill, basically Kosovo civilians on a large scale. Like, if you were a Kosovo Albanian, it, it was completely normal that um, they would even come at night and do something and have your father disappear, brother, whatever it is. Uh, they were plainly killing people. You understand? No, you don't. This is something like... Uh, the only example that I can give you, that I can example you, this type of policies, this would be like, let's say, um, let's say like during the World War II, when they were, let's say, um, German military in occupied territories were looking for, let's say, resistant movement, partisans or something like that. And yeah, they would go and they would, um, visit people in their sleep at night sometimes even committing germans wouldn't do this in slovenia but in slovenia we had our own people who would do this on behalf of germany i understood and probably is true um, sometimes even to kill people wake them up and just slaughter them was the case of the Valentic family here in the Novo Mesto. That was the home guards, Slovenian home guards did. Uh, it was known as the Black Hand, Czerna Roka. Black Hand, they would leave the print of the pawn after the crime committed on the walls and stuff like this. Completely, completely insane, barbaric. Uh, supposedly family was uh, collaborating with the partisans and stuff like that and so this was just um, uh, barbaric stuff that went on during the World War II and that's exactly what Udba is pretty much Udba is not KGB not even KGB not even Russian KGB is Udba the Russians don't do the stuff like this to the Russian people in Russia. Udba is just a remnant of the Serbian movement in Slovenia that indiscriminately is killing the natives in Slovenia based on their physical facial features, based on their last names, based on the cars they drive, based on the shoes they wear, you don't fucking understand anything about this place here till you listen what I'm saying to you. It's not 
that this is a CIA equivalent or KGB equivalent or something like that. And the second thing is she shouldn't exist anymore since Slovenian independence. This is not the same thing. That 1980 genocide, ethnic cleansing in Kosovo, exploded into a Serbian war further against three other nations, against Slovenians, for whom they have proclaimed they're going to come from Serbia to kill every one of us. None of us is going to be left. Belgrade politicians have made clear statements about this. Uh, then the word war exploded in Croatia. I bet they had the same plans. Uh, and in Bosnia, which was uh, greatly decimated, destroyed, uh, war of religion that decimated the Muslim population to nothing when compared to uh, pre-war, pre-Balkan uh, situation. So they, the Serbs murdered, but you can see a little, you got to read a little bit about war in Bosnia, what went on. Oh, you can go and you can type in, let's say Srebrenica or something like that and, and get a good idea about the stuff that went on, or Vukovar, let's say. <clears throat> so, first of all, these are two completely different things. Uh, second of all, me being who I am, uh, for somebody, it doesn't matter who, whomever, that you would go and that you would visit, which I understand, because that's probably official protocol, which really is not, you don't actually have to go through the president of the state to meet me. This is not a state protocol requirement. It's enough that you as a state person, if you're a high state official, that you give an advanced knowledge of your arrival to the country, you can proceed to the destination. You don't have to. You have the right to decline the meeting with the people like Borut Pahor. Borut Pahor is apprentice of Milan Kuchan, whom our people, were obligated, not capable, but obligated to see on a fucking daily basis from Belgrade. Belgrade. Uh, assembly of these politicians throughout so-called Yugoslav Federation Parliament over there, whatever that was, ran by the Serbia, uh, always always 24 7 you could see him from Belgrade all the channels whichever channels they have if he would switch the station you would see him next to Milosevic next to all this not all but some of which were war criminals indicted in Haag for war crimes on the Balkans uh, and so the guy who was involved against me as much as Borut Pahor meeting one and then meeting me somewhere in area uh, during hiking, walking. Um, this is like a major insult to me. Major insult to me. Now, what I told the guy the other day about Slovenia is also, however, in Slovenian language, I told him the difference between Slovenia and the only country that has a Russian flag next to Russia and uh, sovereign nations, as I stated, Slovenia is a disgrace on the map of the nations. Slovenia as a nation should not be on the map of the nations because it's a disgrace on the map of the nations. It looks nations, it makes look sovereign nations as ugly as possible because they accept Slovenian uh, presence on one. I will protest against uh, Slovenian presence at the United Nations inside of the European Union. I did and I will continue. I'm obligated to do that part, to do my best. The difference between Slovenian and other nations is that 
in Slovenia if, as I told this guy, as I was returning from the dam and I met this guy, very nice guy, and um, we spoke and I told him, you know, the difference is that I told him, do you see this garbage, do you see these cans floating in the river, empty bottles, plastic bottles, uh, you look into the water and you see garbage. The difference is that, let's say if you and I went out together for a fishing trip or somewhere, maybe even in the city, in the city maybe not as much, but in the nature, it's to me a major offense when you go and you litter garbage. To me that's a major offense. The difference is, I told him, is that as an adult, the two of us, let's say, Slovenes, uh, and one of us goes and drinks his beer and throws one somewhere near this fishing spot or something where we were fishing or staying camping or whatever it is the difference is i told him uh, abroad they give you sometimes yeah they give you penalty for littering you get the littering penalty but what they really do is i told him they take the information about you you know who you are basically if the two of us would go out and I would just go and throw this, you say, say, fuck it, and just throw this in front of the other guy. Uh, Slovenian guy, therefore. And it happens not only in front of a Slovenian guy, but also other people that they do stuff like this. They don't only take, uh, they don't only issue a penalty, they write your name down, they take good deal about who you are where you are from where you work all your personal data and then the only thing that happens is you stay without the job and very soon you get separated because they make your life a misery out of your life then the third thing they do is If you so somehow don't understand why along the way they probably make sure that a semi meets you somewhere on the road you understand in Slovenia that's not the way it is you know and you would say what wow you know yeah in Slovenia that's not the way it is in Slovenia it was that's why I stated to you I'm obligated to take Slovenia down in a history as a name as a flag and demonstrate one as a national disgrace on the map of the nations in Slovenia what they did was they did exactly what I stated they took the native and they beat him up like a hell make a scapegoat out of him in front of the partisan memorials regardless on which side his family was they involved family against him in crime I did not post and I will my father picture he left uh, you know in 95 I first when they started doing this stuff to me before my sister before my mother before my aunt before my niece father was the one that uh, would sit at the table and um, I knew who he was and then here and there what he would do is he would jump and start uh, punching me using fists without any kind of explanation for anything like this the only thing I did was sitting drugged up I begged for God to give me a patience I begged actually first I begged 
that my father would understand that I'm not the one that it was other people who do this shit that they torture me for me to do crazy stuff my father didn't understand it because it was not in his interest to understand till the police uh, started to suggest him that this is not maybe the most uh, you know proper way to just have me sit inside of the kitchen and punch me drugged up that's what the Central Intelligence Agency this is what the fuck you did when you brought me from Slovenia actually from United States of America from Miami back to Slovenia drugged up during MK Ultra. you you want to understand how it happened right and it went on like this few sessions I soon started to pray God to give me patience to buy me time so that my father somehow could understand he didn't understand he kept punching and at one point I started punching it's when I had to it's when I got father in my hands drugged up and it was a beating they had to change a style a technology of torture they adopted to other methods which included other people participating beatings during which he could go and beat interrogate me and use him for the beatings from behind like cowards do but you know this is just a little drop in the ocean of all this <laughs> Uh, if you go over my stuff about the stuff that uh, Yugo Udva did to me uh, it's unimaginable and the worst thing maybe worse than anything was that Slovenian people who knew who observed me <laughs> a fucking nobody is a woman a children whom I have pledged will defend just maybe Two years earlier, I served in Slovenian military. I pledged I would defend until the bitter end, until death. They turned against me in the villages, yelled at me, spit at me. They joined this lynching from village to village, not only house to house, from city to city in Slovenia. And in between, in Serbia, and in Serbian occupied parts of Croatia and in Bosnia where they brought me for more beatings, for more terror, for more crime, for more torture because it was nothing other than torture and so this is the system that Slovenian state have adapted but if we Slovenians have adapted what I stated to you earlier the foreigners which Slovenian state continually incites against ah uh, it's a fucking Roma ah uh, it's a fucking Serb ah uh, it's a fucking Croat never actually Serb but Croat Roma Bosnian Albanian the number one really doing all this shit are Serbs and those that represent Serbs not the people that I mentioned none of them would ever think about littering in Slovenia none of them would ever even think about mistreating anybody in Slovenia but in Slovenia we have a discriminative state agencies that inside through the poverty they implement on Roma people through social inequality they implement we can we witness continually a uh, war between uh, people uh, they ignited uh, complaints lies about Croatia when people go on vacation and all kinds of stuff uh, it's just a 
Bosnian people uh, it's just a, it's just a politic the, for which I stated you uh, it would have been a type of politic that other countries implement nobody would nobody from abroad everybody that 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 whoever is here in this country they would have a different relationship uh, toward toward people toward uh, toward the system itself it would be more gratitude it would be more acceptance to become to involve yourself in a society and become part of one therefore integration if you like you understand but this is not the goal of the people whose historic idea was to destroy wipe out this nation this country talking about milan kuchan borut pahar talking about the udba people who even went ahead and assassinated ivan kramberger during first slovenian elections in once in so-called independent Slovenia these are things that are unheard I cannot understand the nation that have seen a politicians every fucking day in Belgrade running show during so-called Yugoslavia Federation Yugoslav Federation in a newly formed country a running show country that why 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 have we become even an independent country then in that case if you if you're okay with the same politicians you have seen in yugoslavia and belgrade before yeah, you understand me what i'm saying this is not kgb not even kgb this is about extermination this is about killing people look a little bit the numbers of natives in slovenia how many do they escape ran out of slovenia every fucking year and the numbers the serbian numbers about who comes here and replaces we slovenes don't have many children on average but it's somebody else that is taking this post arranging the marriages prior to even arrival here to slovenia it's not about the jobs they only get this is not even stasi germans eastern germans would not allow this like purification cleansing system you understand so whether you fucking like it or not whoever the fuck you are from whatever the fuck you are and it doesn't matter even if you are like johansen who was involved in this stuff and i did not pronounce properly his name that's american version he told me of my name when we were in the u.s involved since 1995 in polish hunger games in london where he studied also uh, I was present when he when Royals got him also wife and and all that stuff uh, this is about something else this is just simply what I stated it is so for you to come in uh, such a way it might be okay for you if you're from scandinavia i don't know um you're actually not even from scandinavia you're part of scandinavian nations but it's an island iceland so maybe this is this is acceptable for you maybe this is just um maybe this is how you do it but you're never gonna force this down on me today in 2022 we are witness of what i have stated to you is necessary to prevent since 1995 i insisted and i'm not saying that everything is your fault people of ukraine did not listen people of ukraine have found in always some kind of excuse some kind of reason to supplement my ideas about Ukraine with I don't know giving up even its nuclear status this is the country that was powerful nuclear power and have given its weaponry 
Soviet weaponry to Russia as a sign of the friendship. I'm not saying that Ukrainian people have not made a mistake, uh, but I'm gonna then make sure that you understand, even that I was jerked up, that you were talking to me, that you had a business with me, that you dealt with me, myself. It's 28 years ago that this st shit started. Yes, in 2016 I had to change this tactic a little bit because none of you have done shit for me. I ended up inside of the psychiatric hospitals and they were about to chop me in parts. As much as I stood up for you for no less than 21 years, I, ha I stand no chance. So it was a two year switch I had to make. But all in all, I want you to understand of this 28 years, two years, with exception of two years, who you were talking to, who you dealt with. You understand? This isn't about respect. Like you, like you tutored me, respect. This is about other issues for which you damn knew, knew are of a greater importance than respect. So you're welcome to visit me. It doesn't matter really where you are from. Um, you're welcome to visit me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gladly uh, and be thankful to you for your visits but not with the protocol of something like that basically paying respect to what i stated that's not the way you come to visit me that's not how you come to visit me if you want uh, you can come to visit me and then you can go and you can do as you please of course you can visit that other side which I told you already in 95, in 96, that I will never let go. I will never let them be. I will never ever let them go. Following my protocol that I stated to you about the littering, you can understand how deep this stuff runs in me. You, I'm sure you understand what I wished for, what I asked for when I was brought in Ljubljana to Milan Kuchan is house, to Milan Kuchan is residence in 95, in 96, repeated in 97. Murgle, you know, Murgle area is a special area in Ljubljana where you have only Udba people inside. You know what that, you know, you know what I, you know how deep this runs? I'm not gonna repeat what I told them back time, back then, what I expect from them. Slovenians have gone and from have out of disgrace, out of shame, even disbanded Slovenian draft military service, therefore, which I served, proudly served, as the first generation of one. Because I asked them to handle corrupt police since 95 96 97 i asked the territorial defense slovenian military establishment to take hands in their own matters if the police is simply not willing to enforce the laws in slovenia so out of disgrace they have even gone you see this is why this nation does not belong on the map of the nation this, that's why this nation is disgrace for you for whatever nation you are, wherever you're from, you should never accept to be in a company of nations like this. You have to strive to be in a company of the sovereign nations, nations that don't give their uh, sovereignty. 
that's all I want to say. I don't want to go too deep with this stuff. I think let's just keep it simple and I'm going to leave you today. It's a beautiful rain outside. It's raining anyways. Uh, rest of the day uh, with few thoughts that you can you can keep to yourself. It doesn't matter if you're from Slovenia, but you have to understand what this country is all about. When you pay visitations to one, it's about ethnic cleansing. Udba shouldn't any shouldn't be on a map anyways anywhere. Since the end of the so-called Yugoslavia, that's one thing, and the second thing is people itself should take a completely different directive, different direction. And they have failed. For them it's acceptable. For them it was acceptable to see one of their own tortured, molested, beaten up in front of them, accused of lies, brought inside of the jail system to meet serial killers, thrown inside of psychiatric words, observing him on the street when he walked all fucked up. But for me, that's not normal. And this isn't about normal. This is not about respect. Now, what was her name? I don't know. That was a Norwegian girl who bragged about the respect. The respect. This is about acceptable and not acceptable. Now, thanks for watching this video. Uh, till next time. August the 29, 2022. Have a safe trip back to Iceland.